a feeling. Great song. I love it. You could be a color, sell yourself, my mama. Very lovely song. Lovely, lovely. Yes, I do know Liberian music. I do, I do know a healthy deal of Liberian. Yeah. I want to be a producer. Okay. But I don't know how to play the keyboard. I feel you don't know how to play the keyboard. No. You don't need to. You don't need to. But go on. Go on. Okay. Finish with your question. I, I've always felt or seen it as a limitation. Okay. So, but since you said I don't need to be a keyboardist or know how to play a keyboard to be a producer, maybe I, I'll take it from there when I get out there. So I'm applying to be your student. <laughs> Okay, well, the first thing I have to say, we'll, we'll deal with the application bit later, but the first thing I have to say is this. I don't think Kanye West plays the piano. I stand to be corrected. I don't think Kanye plays the piano. He's one of the greatest producers we know. Okay? I don't think Timberland actually really plays the piano as such. But he's... I think what you need to be a great producer is understanding tone selection, right? So what kind of kick, what kind of snare do you need for this song? Is it an organic song? Is it a synthesized, feel-good, dance kind of song? Do you know the right tones you know, that will bring out, that will make the song pop? And then, um, do, you, do you know, do you understand the, the, technica, the, the, the technical involvement you know, of parameters and effects and processes like you know how you use delays and things like that and how you you, you manage you know your volume levels and how do you com communicate with your sound engineer in the studio to give you the desired result when you work as a producer think about it that if you had to produce a band you wouldn't be playing their keyboards or their drums or their bass they would come in and they would play everything but you can be there to coordinate the process to make sure that the music sounds seamless sounds believable, and you can give ideas. As a matter of fact, you can be a producer, and what you really know how to do is, I want the drum to go and that's how you know how to interpret music. But by the time people play out what you're able to interpret with your mouth, right, it's, you know, kick butt real good music that comes out of it. You know what I mean? And then you can work with people who play these instruments. You can bring them into the studio and work with them. And then, you know, obviously with software like Logic and Pro Tools and Fruity Loops and stuff right now, you can actually, you know, use graphs and mouse simulation to create your beats, to create your bass. The most important thing is for you to know in your head what you want to hear and to understand tone selection enough to know what tone will give you that sound, okay? I think that that's more important now, obviously, playing the piano gives you an edge. You know what I mean? It gives you an edge. But there are people who know how to play the piano, and that's all they know how to do. And when they produce, their chords are all over the place because their first and their major instrument, you know, probably takes the shine from everything else because they don't have as much understanding of everything else as they do their instrument. So you can be a guitarist or a drummer. It helps to play an instrument. But even when you don't necessarily play an instrument, it helps to understand what sound you want to hear and you know, how to articulate that sound using the synthesizer that's in front of you or using the people that are in your studio and then using your knowledge of the technicality of working a studio or working a sound engineer to create music. So that's really what you need. And then having good taste, of course. You need good taste because you need to be able to appreciate, you know, the music you're creating, the people who listen to that kind of music, you know, how do, how do they dress? Are they, are they hippies? Are they nerds? I mean, how, you need to be able to appreciate them to appreciate, you know, to be able to create their kind of music specifically. So are they college students? Are they, what are they? You know what I mean? Yeah, so you need to have good taste. You need to have specific taste because it will come through in the music that you create. Okay. I have a question. Yes. Um, one of the major problems... I did too. Are you awake? <laughs> <laughs> of course I am, sir. Okay. Yeah, one of the problems we, the new generational singers, have is 
the, the problem of we not being able to play one or two instruments. Mm -hmm. Like myself, I, I think I want to be able to play the keyboard very well. Mm -hmm. I'm just being able to you know, touch one or two chords. So my question is this, how can I you know, get to that level I want to get to when it comes to playing the keyboard? So the first question I need to ask you is, how hungry are you? Are you as hungry as you say you are? I am. Hmm? Hungry to play the keyboard, you're sure? Yes. Do you have internet connection? No. I you don't? don't. No, no, uh, I don't mean here. Like, you know, at, at home, wherever, do you have internet connection? I have on my phone. You have internet connection on your phone? Yeah. What do you do? Yeah, I just browse. Be honest, what do you browse? Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, song, right? Song, is, it, is it mentionable, first you. of all, before we continue? Is it mentionable what you browse? <laughs> hmm? I don't go there at all. I don't no, I didn't say where. When you say you don't go there, I don't know what there is. I just asked you a question. I hope that what you browse is mentionable before you say it. Very well. Great. So what do you browse? Um, basically, I'm a student, so I, I do a whole lot of classwork in okay. my ex assignment. And, um, Mr. Mar. Also, yeah. I thought you were the one that was laughing. <laughs> Is the man beside you? What's, what's your name, sir? Are you? Get your mind out the gutter. No, I wasn't thinking anything. I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking. I mean, we were over that a long time ago, and this guy's still sitting here, like, laughing, like, in retrospect. <laughs> okay, let's, okay, so tell me. So, uh, like the student that you are, you're always browsing classwork and stuff and yeah, stuff. Lyrics of a song, I, of my favorite songs. Okay, yeah, great. Yeah. I'll tell you one other thing that you can do. Yeah. Look up how to learn how to play your favorite instrument. At least it's a good place to start. All right. Okay? It's a good place. It's a, it's, it's a good place to start. Yes, you can find a, t a tutor, you can find a teacher, and I'm sure that, you know, you will get some help, you know, in terms of references and stuff like that, maybe before you get out of here and stuff. But start with the internet. You know, I know friends who have all kinds of materials, you know, piano for dummies and stuff like that. And they've collected these things from the internet, you know. They go out there, they find them, they buy them. I know our, our, our you know, the, the, the internet situation, you know, is getting better um, out here in this space, you know. Um, but just use, use that, that's, that's what your, <clears throat> excuse me, internet connection is for, okay? So yes, do your schoolwork and that's good. But also, if there's something that interests you, you wanna learn how to play the guitar, you wanna learn how to play the piano, you know, there are tutorials on YouTube, you know, that you can check out, you know what I mean? And then of course, um, you will get references. I'm, sh I'm sure, you know, we'll, we'll still talk about this, you know, after now, but I mean, that's, in general, let's start from there. Yes, ma'am. Sir? Yes. Um, most times I do wish to sing high, like sound more feminine. Okay. Yeah, to pitch higher than I used to. Okay. But I find it very difficult. Okay. That's your question? Yes. Okay, my, my immediate answer was, uh, my, my, I say was because I've changed it, but my immediate answer was, have you told Ige about this? Yes, <laughs> yes, I actually told her because there was a time I actually lost my voice while rehearsing because Uncle Ben increased my key because mm. he wanted me to sound like Brandy, which I tried to do, but I couldn't get there. Okay. Okay, so having asked my initial question, let me then go ahead to share my, or rather, having, having given you my initial answer, let me then go ahead to share, you know, um, what I know about that. The truth is this, right? I know that um, your voice and your singing is a function of muscular movement. Now, it's something that you can train and something that you can get to do. It will not happen overnight but it can happen. Again, I asked the question I asked Christian, how hungry are you for it? If you want it, then you need to begin to train for it. You may lose your voice a couple of times, but you also need to know the right kinds of exercise to do in order to improve your high register. Okay, so there are exercises for that. 
you know, that you should do to improve your high register. The second thing I want to say is a bit unconventional, and that is this. I personally think that you have a lovely voice. I don't know. Now, I know, I know one thing, and that one thing is this. Project Fame! What a feeling! <laughs>